Hey everybody, Jimmy with the Triple C Collective and Colin here. Hey, and we're ready to bring you episode 13, Pabu, Pabu. of Bad Batch Season 2. Super excited for this. Um, man. I have to mention off the back, I was immediately happy to see Fee. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I mentioned kind of like they need, or she, you know, she needs a better mother figure than Sid. And Fee seems like a little rougher on the edges, but a little more. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I, I mean, not even like rougher around the edges. Fee just seems like a semi better person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she keeps calling herself a liberator. Right. Of... Yeah. I mean, and, and to be tr- to be fair, she uh, kind of is. She kind of <laughs> is. She's, yeah. She kind of is. Um, but. We open up with them at a bar. We mm-hmm. open up with Fee, Omega, and the rest of the Bad Batch, um, you know, in a, you know, Star Wars bar meeting Daft Punk. Mm-hmm. What? Exactly. <laughs> like, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, that that's dope ex- mask. That's exactly what those people looked like. They just looked like D- Daft Punk in Star Wars. Yep. Like, and it was just cool to see. I love it. They that. reminded me of, um, what was the, the bat in Boba Fett, the... the the pikes or something they kind of reminded me of those masks a little bit oh okay but they yeah. weren't but it's similar like vein like they were yeah. just some kind of like mercenary group that was looking to get one over on fee and fee was teaching omega basically showing how her the ropes. Ne- showing her how to negotiate yeah. as uh fee was saying and <laughs> it's like the funniest thing in the world yeah. i loved it um, doesn't fall for the poison you know uh, the, the, the bug goes over her shoulder, almost gets her. And then, uh, it's kind of, that's when we reveal the bad batch has been watching her, you know? Yeah. And that's where <laughs> the best Their thing in the guards. world is, and he's like, <laughs> one of the Daft Punks is like, you should have brought more people. Wrecker, <laughs> you hear, yeah. you hear Wrecker's laugh. Ha ha ha. She's not. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, it's great, you know? Uh, they of course get into like the shootout and and an old yeah it doesn't work out to get the they get in the shootout quickly defuse um, that I love that they throw a smoke bomb mm-hmm. I'm always down for a good smoke bomb es- es- escape and that's what we get here you know they escape basically get out of the bar and yeah they make quick um, quick escape. well they call the tech who yep. was who's the one person who isn't in there and he's in the Marauder the one thing I will say about tech though is that the uh, their droid. Is like, why are you playing against yourself? And he's like, it's the only time it's a challenge. And I was like, damn, tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All gonky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gonky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's funny. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, and then right when we get on the Marauder, we see a hologram from Sid. Yeah. And she's not happy. She's basically like, you should stop taking this as a threat and like more as a promise that like our mutual agreement is kind of coming to an end since you're not working for me anymore yeah and uh saying i have certain knowledge about you and right. our mutually beneficial agreement basically i'll turn you in like to yeah the, to the to, to the, the empire, empire if you don't start wor- keep working for me anyway but <laughs> fee's kind of like ooh, that's not good you know she's a good ally to have but definitely yeah. not a good enemy yeah and um but it was even funny as soon as they get in there like <laughs> fee is also trying to talk to hunter and tech about omega and like <laughs> because the first thing before sid's call omega's like that was a fun mission yeah, just yeah, like exactly. after, after the all like the right. shootout and everything of that she's all like yeah. happy and is like that's great and like went well and, basically yeah yeah it's like this is really good we, yeah. we, we, we did it yeah. and um fee's like talking to hunter and is also like you know hey you know, like she's good, and he's like, "Yeah, her training's really paying off. It's mm-hmm. awesome. Like she she knows a thing or two about a thing or two. Yeah. It's great." Yeah. And like, and you know, Hunter's very proud. Like, like, like Hunter's not trying to be like mean no, or no, facetious no. or no. anything like that. Like, 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 he's genuinely proud that like Omega is getting what they have been like. Yeah, he wants her to have her. her he wants stuff. her to be be good at what they're doing. You know, yeah, what I mean? and but like, also wants her to have a childhood and have fun. And, like, that's kind of what Fee's point is, is yeah. that, like, well, you know, like, she should hang out with people or have friends that aren't you three, or yeah. at least, like, don't share her, her genetic age. makeup yeah. or anything. And, like, <laughs> tech. Tech, oh, uh, man. Tech being, like, well, none of us had that and that, and, and, and there was... I we see ended that, up okay, basically. And, and, yeah. and, like, we ended up okay. I don't see a problem with that. And Fee just being, like... Yeah, mm-hmm. I I bet you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's like, 
It's like That's awesome. So, funny. <laughs> um, so yeah, Fee's basically like, all right, types in some coordinates and yeah, like, yeah. go go here, brown eyes. Which I love the flirting between her and Tech. Yeah. I think that's so cute. Like, I think because uh, tech, tech, tech needs somebody to ground him a little bit. And but just Tech doesn't know what to do with the flirting either. No, no, either. no. <laughs> but we, yeah. But so she types in some coordinates. She's like, we're going here. Yeah. And this is when we get to this planet. Uh, it's like an island planet. Uh, the planet's whatever, but there's like an island we're going to on, to, the on this planet. And, uh, yeah, the planet's uh, it's called uh, Pabu, which is yeah. the name of the plan- the episode. But um, yeah. The name of the island on this planet is called Pabu. Yeah. And uh, it just seems like a chill, like Greece. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? Like, it's like it a Themyscira. Like nice... Okay, so it's like a Themyscira. Yeah. It's like a Greece. It's like this secret, hidden... Um... But they're not like heavy in natural like resources. They don't have any like... They're not like... Yeah. They're not, they're not living above anyone's means, but they are living nice. Um, and they're all refugees too. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of refugees we, we find we, we, out. We come to find out there. Um, but before that, we meet um, Shep. We meet Shep and uh, his Liana, da- yeah. his daughter Liana, which you know, Fee calls uh, niece, and you know, yeah, that's that's pretty cute. Like I'm not sure if they're actually related or if it's just like auntie is just a is a because they look just, alike those yeah. two. Yeah, or if they're just like close in yeah, that yeah be- exactly. be- because like just my auntie because what we also come to find out from liana is that N- fee's never brought any of her friends here before yeah, so which it is shows kind- something yeah. which is kind of a big thing um and the way and so hold on one note i have here is when they're introduced to shep who's the mayor of pabu and liana is his daughter and um as we just said but as the conversation between Fee and Shep happen, and, and it's like, not the Shep from the Three Stooges. No, not no, the no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 none of that going on. Um, actually, totally capable mayor. Mm-hmm. Surprisingly, he's actually enough. awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Surprisingly Man enough, people type guy. Yeah, yeah. Surprisingly enough, a political figure that isn't kind of a bad person. Isn't the worst. It's like yeah, maybe yeah, one of the yeah, first it, ones we've met. Yeah. yeah, that who isn't just a truly terrible person right. in um. In that, but Wrecker makes the joke of, "Hey, <laughs> hey, Tech, you've got some competition mm-hmm. now." It's like one of the funniest things to me. Yeah. Because sure. like we get the brown eyes comment, and then we get that. Yeah, and Tech looks and, at her like, Ooh. but 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 Tech actually shows like some sort of emotion because like he's called Tech. He he like but, like earlier in the season he was called out for like his like robotic emotions yeah. i mean he's stuff. a robot but he so, still wants he yeah. still wants to get some of <laughs> um so like all of that was just extremely um funny and then they put the like artifact away yep. and they give I, it to yeah they give it to um what is it lila or no yeah no no no, no. liana uh, yeah, well, Liana, she shows it to Liana, and Liana's yeah. like, oh, this looks like one of a kind. And, yep. <laughs> and Fee's like, Basically you're right. get it to where it needs to be. Yeah, and uh, puts it to the Archeum, I think is what they call Archeum, it. Archeum, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, the Archeum. And um, that's really awesome. Like, it's so great. And then they go to Shep and Liana's house for... Like dinner and drink, basically. Yeah, they like meet the town and then and, make their way up to uh, the mayor's house, Shep's house. Yeah. And they have a good time there, which is this is another funny record scene, you know. Yeah. That, like, they, they really just go through like the the stay of the place and and Hunter's kind of having his own conversation off with the mayor and uh, or Shep and and yeah. Fee. And they're trying to convince him to stay. And this is a place for refugees, and that what if not refugees, what are you guys like? Yeah, man, they're laying out thick. Yeah, like, um, let me tell you, with that, it was also awesome. Like, how impressed Wrecker was, was like, whoa, do you really know everybody's name here? Mm-hmm. And like, Chef's like, yeah, I'm the I'm, I'm the mayor, yeah, you should, right? <laughs> like, but then they have this meal, and Rex, Wrecker's like, this is the first time I've ever been full, full. <laughs> and then he they're chilling for a minute. And he gets some dessert, and he's never too full for dessert. <laughs> no, not even a little bit. And it's so awesome. Um, that Then there's also, like, the beautiful scene um, during that same thing of, like, the dinner. Maybe just before when Wrecker Omega says and... it. Well, yeah, with the Munoz, with the little, like, oh, monkey yeah, creatures. Yeah. Where, like, Liana... They were, like, this ancient it... creature that was there before the planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah before the planet. Before, I mean, the, before people, the people, people, not the planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. before the people of the planet. Yeah. Um, like, we're there and everything, and, like, we get a little bit more of, like, yeah, a bunch of, like, refugees and stuff are here. So, yeah, 
Hunter and Shep are still, you know, talking about the refugees. And then, you know, Hunter even goes into talking about, uh, like, hey, aren't you worried about the, uh, just the Empire, like, coming here, finding out about exactly. you guys or anything? Which I was thinking, too. Like, this place looks nice. Yeah, right. It's, <laughs> a, it, it, it's like a little piece of paradise. And, like, you know, Mayor right. Shep kind of describes what we're seeing there. It's and like, us seeing a good a good leader is kind of like, oh, he's outside the Empire's yeah. grasp. So, okay, yeah, that's why. So far, exactly. He doesn't have the uh, Empire's teeth in him yet or anything like that. So, yeah, they... Uh, so, yeah, they talk about that, and then this is also when they uh, have Omega and um, Leanna, or Leanne, Liana. Yeah. It's when Omega and Liana go off on their little boating adventure. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. That's a lot of and fun. And it's cool to see Omega have, like, fun. Yeah. It's really, like, we haven't seen that a lot at all. Like, she's had fun, don't get me wrong, but, yeah. like, this is different. This is kind of what Tech Fee, even Fee talks was talking about. about. Well, it's what Fee's talking about. Tech even notices, like, hey, I haven't even heard her laugh like that exactly. in a long time. So, like, Fee's laying it on thick. Mm -hmm. Hunter has always kind of wanted more for Omega than, like, what they've been, like, providing for her. Um... Tech is kind of a robot, so he doesn't always understand. Like, he's getting it now. Like, he's starting to get it. Mm -hmm. um, Wrecker, I think, also is just kind of in the agreement that, like, Omega's awesome and stuff, but she has every right to be a kid. Because even when Tech, when they were in the mind, like, Wrecker was like, you need to apologize. Mm -hmm. Like, even Wrecker understood that, like, yeah. Tech was well, too if, mean. If nothing cause... else, Wrecker understands maybe the most that emotional bandwidth like that's kind yeah. of where he's at like, yeah, yeah that's emotionally fair. right like fair, that's fair. A, so he's like i get my feelings hurt like you know i don't like when people are mean to me so don't be mean to her or you know what i mean like right? he's he's very much in tune with that um, whereas on the other end tech isn't yeah um Hunt, hunter's kind of in the middle right he can turn off his emotions when he needs to but also is, has emotions uh, more present not that you know, tech doesn't have emotions. He just doesn't feel them uh, in the same way. Absolutely. Which yeah. he explained. Yeah, he does. Yeah, right. Right. He doesn't feel. Everyone's them. brain works different. Exactly. Everyone processes things differently, and that's how he does that. Um, and, like, yeah, then at the end of this is where we get the record being like, oh, yes. I'm so full. And then dessert, the dessert comes out. And changes like, his mind. Really oh, well. I love dessert. <laughs> yeah. But Tech being like, oh, I'll, you know what? For such a momentous occasion, I'll know, I'll, I'll note the time and date, too. <laughs> like, in, in yep. our vlogs, it's hilarious. Um, the, the stuff on the boat, though, might be, like, some of my favorite stuff of the entire episode mm -hmm. here. Uh, it's just the most serene part. It's like, yeah. Yeah. We're getting, yeah, into Omega. It's just loving it. She's loving her time here. And... Because it's like, it, it's like she's just used to doing missions, 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 going back to Sid's place, basically. Mm -hmm. um, like, this is true, like, the, the true definition of, like, the relax and relax, like, uh, like the the relaxation and recreation of like in between missions that like you're but supposed also, to get and stuff yes. but uh, that you're supposed to get but or Rock or wildly crazy the life that you should be living yes, so yeah, like yeah, exactly. the the childhood you should have yeah. yeah and so like all of that's really but also great i was seeing that say, here it's scary because it's the calm before the storm and even when i was watching this episode i'm like it's been too good Mm -hmm. things have been going way too well in this episode yep and then we get a uh we get a little tremor at yeah, one point something's going on like an earthquake or something and yeah and like at first it, the mayor doesn't seem too worried about it but hunter does yeah hunter hunter, do, hunter felt it and he's Hun like no 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 yeah and then tech calls it out calls that it's a sea surge before they're uh -huh. equipment even kicks in yeah tech's like no, no no we got a sea surge happening which is basically like a tsunami like a yeah. giant giant I can't, like huge tsunami huge tsunami type wave and basically the seas a wall of the sea is coming towards them yeah um it was also actually before that warning goes off it was also neat when omega was like i grew up around the ocean but like this is different mm -hmm. and like this is so she also didn't stuff. get to like, hang out yeah she was there, stuck but, in like, a Camino lab was always every time you like always saw it it always kind of looked like it was like always stormy and choppy seas like, yeah you never really saw like a calm serene ocean yeah. view 
of like Camino, at least like. And even if there was, again, yeah. I don't think she was wit- witnessing it much because yeah. she was like kind of a lab rat. She was in the yeah, yeah you v- know what v- I mean? very she was very much being watched over and wasn't allowed to have yeah no I say much of a life it seems. No, I mean, not really. At least the Bad Batch are trying to give her more of like freedom. It's like yeah, we're doing these missions, but it's like we make you like a real part of the right. team. Like she has a say in stuff. Like she made Absolutely. them, she made them feel bad about echo and everything. So, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, dude, that whole, uh, the, the tremors go off. Tech's like, no, this is a sea surge. Shep's like, no, our early warning thing would go off already. If it, if it was one. And then literally finishes the sentence. Boo, yep. I don't like that sound. <laughs> I don't like that. Don't and like then, that. yeah, so the hunter comes up with formulates a plan pretty quickly. Uh, evacuate everyone to the higher ground, and you know, get everyone to but upper like also, combo. yo, Liana and uh, Omega are out there. We got to figure that out. And he's like, I got it. Get everyone to higher ground. Yeah, and then he's got a plan for that. Hunter, and, yeah, Hunter's yeah. like, I'll grab him on the ship. You guys get everyone to higher ground, and Shep, Hunter tech and fee start running house to house in lower like power around this Pablo, um, up, up, and like here. start all the way at the bottom knocking on every house making sure everybody is getting up and up out the stairs mm-hmm. um and like all of that is wild yep. liana and omega get beached like <laughs> yeah they see, yeah they see all of a sudden we gotta jump off the boat so they yeah. get they get they jump off the boat the boat gets wrecked and they they get beached not close to the shore <laughs> yeah, to, yeah definitely you know. not close so but, they start running hunters like just make sure your locator's on and keep running heading yeah. towards shore i'm more i'm making my way towards the ship and liana sees the they see the um the wall of water basically yeah, yeah, coming yeah, yeah, and they're they, like oh no she's trips and she's like I can't, i'm not gonna make it omega's not letting her yeah. go though she grabs her up and we, we're going to keep running, even though it is coming a little too fast. What's going on here? Yeah, yeah, what's going <laughs> and on? She gets a little nervous, you can tell. And then all of a sudden, that's when Hunter comes with the Marauder. Absolutely. Hunter comes with the Marauder. At the same time, we get um, Fee and Tech <coughs> dropping the wooden ladders yep. down the walls. Because they're like, we what? have we have too many people... To trying move, to go up one well, way yeah, yeah going up one way it's not like maybe if it was wider or whatever like there could have been other things there yeah. but they start throwing those things down and even those mechanisms are rusted shut mm-hmm. and i'm like and i'm like dude even just you know like chef that's an oversight mm-hmm. yeah, you've been yeah. ta- we've been talking but also about, it's, an, it's an ocean it's an ocean uh but, uh, he's great but yeah, yeah he's but, great but he's it, also it, yeah this is definitely an oversight this is lax. but but it's like they're rusted shut and the last time you had something like this was 30 years ago Let's go like every five years we just change them out, mm-hmm. boy. Yeah, right. Let's exactly. just go every five years we change them right. out. Right, because of course um, they're going to be rusted. It's an ocean. Exactly. An island. Exactly. Every five years we ch- we change them out. Yeah, we do something. We you know we, we clean them out. We make sure they work again. Um, I'm just saying, maybe something to go with that. Yeah. So they get the uh, ladders, but when they when Hunter going back to Hunter Omega uh, Omega and Le- and Leanna mm-hmm. when they dropped the line there, I was like. Oh my god! If Liana falls off and right. doesn't grab the line, I'm gonna freak out. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna freak out because I really expected it to like almost happen because that's like the Star Wars thing to do. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, they didn't. And no. I was very excited. I was very no, excited yeah. So they save that. them. They they grab onto the line. The Marauder flies flies them to safety. Them and the rest of this basically island are are up and mm-hmm. they they end up okay, as okay as you can when your home's destroyed and stuff. Yeah, um, you know the the Marauder flies o- flies over and like you see Mayor Chef look up and like Leon is waving down like I'm okay, Dad, mm-hmm. and he's like, Whew. right, yeah, right, because that's um, all that matters, right? People, right, well, people well, are okay. We can re- do rebuild property, and that's literally what Mayor Shep is saying here at the end, like when he's talking with like Hunter and Fee, you know, like because uh, Fee and Tech are passing out clothes, they see Wrecker and like the kids then asleep. And Tech goes to, like, almost wake him up. And, like, Fee's like, what are you doing? Let mm-hmm. them sleep. Exactly. <laughs> like, 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 let them sleep. Right. And then Hunter and Shep are talking. And, like, he's like, we got everyone out safely. That's what matters. We can always kind of rebuild. Like, mm-hmm. it sucks. Like, there, there's definitely things that were lost. Like, that's not, like, it's not good that we lo- that people lost those things. But, like, nobody died. And that's a plus. Yeah, exactly. That's a plus because we can the, rebuild. Yeah, you can rebuild. You can do all of that, and like that basically is what 
like tech is saying he's like well that'll take like several rotations and hunter's like well if you don't mind us staying like we'll be here yeah like, which, I, which, like, which took which me by surprise i did not surprise. expect him to uh, actually take fee up on the offer but it does make sense and yeah, that's the end of the episode. Like they they they're they're staying, they're sticking around, they're gonna help rebuild this place. So that it, like, are they getting it happily ever after? Are they really gonna be retired? We have three episodes left. Yeah. We have next week's episode, which is just episode fourteen, and then in two weeks we get the last two episodes last dropped two at the same yeah. time, uh, episodes fifteen and sixteen. Mm -hmm. So I am uh, like, I, I I I'm so excited. I mean, clearly it's not going to be happily ever after with Sid not only on their bad side, but yeah. the Empire chasing after them. And um, this planet seems to be ripe for Empire sort of activities. Because yeah. they don't really care about resources or anything. They just want to own everything, it seems like. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, we want to thank you all for joining us uh, here for Bad Batch Season 2, Episode 13, Pabu. Uh, I hope you like and subscribe to our channel and this video. We hope you all stay safe. I am Jimmy with the Triple C Collective. And I'm Colin. And uh, we want to thank you again for joining us. And as always, may the Force be with you. Cool. Nice.